This movie's not for everyone. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Emma. Emma comes out on Friday. I got a chance to see it early. Uh, the movie stars Anya Taylor-Joy. She plays Emma Woodhouse. And she's very rich. It takes place in 1800s England where it's class issues. In term, you know, people are treated certain ways based on how much money they have. So she's very rich, a little selfish, and unchallenged in her little town. So... She plays matchmaker with a lot of her friends, um, one friend in particular, Harriet. And it's a comedy, drama, a little romance in there. The movie, it looks really great. Costume designs, really well done. Um, I enjoyed the performances from all the different actors. Um, it's a lot of different people in this movie. Uh, Bill Nye, Bill Knightley, um, he plays the father of Emma, and I thought he was fantastic. He was very funny every time he was on screen. Definitely the comedy relief in this movie. Uh, for me, the movie is okay. It has funny moments. Um, the romance, it was kind of sloppy and choppy. It was a lot of different people falling for other random people like it was like so much sexual tension in this movie where one character would say hello to another character and just be infatuated with that character but then that character will dance with another character and then they'll be infatuated with that character and and the whole time emma is trying to advise different people on what decisions to make in terms of finding happiness not just marrying someone for the money but marrying someone to be happy and Again, she's unchallenged in the town because she's like the queen. You know, she, she's, she has all the money. People look up to her and respect her opinions and always want to do stuff to please her. Um, all that comes to a crashing halt when this woman named Jane comes back to town and is like her rival. You know, uh, Emma plays the piano. Jane plays the piano really well. And Jane catches the eye of certain guys in the town and Emma feels some type of way about that. So like... That's when the conflict comes in, but it takes so long for all that to happen. You know, throughout the, in the beginning, the first half of the movie, it's, it's the, the comedy is okay, but there's nothing really going on. It's just people talking and dressed up and just having conversation. There's nothing really happening about at the hour 20 mark, you know, it's a two hour movie and it feels like two hours, but like hour 20, hour and a half mark, that's when things start get start to move you know people are upset about the decisions that's being made you know and they say something they speak up there's conflict you know there's anger there's crying and that's when the movie shines brightest again th- there are funny moments um but i like i said in the beginning i don't think this is going to be a movie for everyone you know you know considering where it takes place and just like the slow grind to get into everything and so many characters to to follow and everything. So for me, it was an okay watch. It's not a must watch um, movie. Emma is, again, comes out Friday. If you watched it, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any favorite characters, uh, my favorite character, um, he was in Lovesick. Uh, he played Dylan in Lovesick and he was in this movie. Um, and I thought he was fantastic. But thank you for listening. Deuces. <laughs>